Grand premiere of New Energies, The Great Gathering is happening, more about Archangel Aurel. Today's date on the Archangelic calendar is Infinity 06A Infinity Infinity P45A3P5A3A3 Infinity Infinity E9C9C9C9C8C8 Infinity Infinity, 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 infinity B1TT Infinity The day is now 36 hours and starts and ends at 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. in an alternating fashion. At the time of this post, the following 3 p.m. will start this new day. There is more information and a calendar legend at archangelicalendar.com. And please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Gaia has remained in a spirit-dominant setting for the third straight day and always causes deep and profound change. We can fully expect the activities of the cosmos to follow suit as we have seen this before, and it affects everyone and everything in the region. She initiates these things with a sense of purpose, and it is clear that she has a specific change in mind. If you are paying close enough attention, you can see the way that these celestial bodies communicate with each other, during this entire situation. She is also bracing for the energetic changes about to take place from the very large celestial body about to warp into our orbit. This is not an asteroid but a conscious living celestial mass also known as Nibiru, who can take many forms. The best of the best in the realm of engineering is Archangel Raziel, Archangel Baman, and Archangel Zadekil. They have been working diligently on the new grid systems, portals, pillars and many other things to ensure that it will be ready for the premiering new energies that are about to debut on this day. These incoming energies will make themselves known immediately, it will also bring us the philosophical question, exactly how conscious are these energies. As we reported 5G will be obsolete very shortly as star technology is coming to us at a steady pace. This is being fostered by open trade with the Galactic Federation of Light and we will continue to see these technological bursts coming in daily. This is similar to what happened during the Industrial Revolution, all of a sudden a burst in advancements took over the planet, and in turn, people's lives changed. Our newest import is quantum internet which is not exactly new but in this adaptation it certainly is. Once this technology is combined with free-flowing energy you will have instant wireless data transfer that holds no boundaries or side effects whatsoever. It has been well advertised that a great gathering was to take place and set off the prophecy, in May of 2020. This was forced to evolve by the quarantine as has unexpectedly converged in this now. You are already in attendance in the higher dimensions. This has made the Great Gathering become the Great Gathering on steroids, and will ultimately cause a more cohesive Lightworker Legion. With the high-speed upgrades that we are experiencing, we will notice more and more food sensitivities. It is vital that we listen to our bodies on this subject as certain vibrational foods will work for our bodies and certain ones will not. It is not as simple as clean eating, as everything from the vibration of the farmer to the vibration of the earth will come into play. Archangel Aurel is an incredible archangel, he is much like a hypnotist to negative energies as he can control their actions when he is evoked. He has caused many demons to have a sudden change of heart and causes many tears to be shed in self-reflection among the worst among us. He is also known for building great libraries and was one of Alexander the Great's favorite archangels to work with while building his famous collection. In the GSN 69 galaxy, we see a white dwarf star orbiting a black hole after a failed attempt at dismantling from the same black hole that it is now orbiting. This is the first time we physically saw a star defeat a black hole, moreover, it seems as if the dwarf star has gained control of the black hole's functions. That being said, this is a macro manifestation of a much larger battle in the astral, and this is very exciting to see. Dot dot dot. And love will steer the stars. Today's tools. Tools will be active until the next post. Use the legend below to help you decipher how to best use today's weapons. Passive equals no intention needed to use or arm. It will work on its own when you accept its presence. All you need to do is give permission and it will work on your behalf. Active equals intention needed to use, aggressive equals will attack before anything has a chance to do any harm to you, beyond space and time. 
We have gone through great changes and thus the weapon-based tools indicated below can be inserted into the ground to call forth downloads. Active, passive and aggressive anywhere within the universe. The Violet Flame team is in the set of 9, and this is great news. The Violet Flame team is as follows, and is in no particular order Archangel Jermaine, Archangel Anseel, Archangel Briathos, Archangel Emmanuel, Archangel Af, Archangel Raguel, Archangel Zadekiel, Archangel Batkol, Archangel Agla, Archangel GZ Rail, Archangel Tatrasil, Archangel Orion, Archangel Harahil, Archangel Servil, Archangel Eshma, Archangel Sablo, Archangel Azil, and Archangel Abraxos. Active. Archangel Michael's legendary sword can handle anything, as it is completely omnipotent, no level of consciousness can be achieved that this couldn't slice through. It is also an amazing weapon against electronics and technology as it can override any circuitry. Passive, active and aggressive. Archangel Isik's radiant field looks a lot like Magneto's force field as it reacts to any life form with either loving energy, or with a transmutational blast of vast power. Passive and aggressive. Archangel Leo's Swords of Plenty is a passive and aggressive attack sword that has a complete will of its own. Do not try to yield at all, you will only get in the way, equip and go. Passive and Aggressive Archangel Shepherd's Orb is a presence of divinity that allows anyone that you are engaged with a clear path to forgiveness or a direct audience with infinitely expanding creator source on the matter. This is a truly compassionate tool of divine orchestration. Passive Short Range Archangel Gabriel's shield of truth allows righteousness and justice to be your greatest defense. When equipped, this allows truth to protect and serve us. This shield also helps bring abundance to our lives. Active. Archangel Zedekiel's staff of justice is a tool that is best used on a macro level and can help move things along that are stagnant. It can also summon and maintain force fields for protection purposes. Passive and active. Archangel Jeremy's enhanced intuition allows the voices of your soul to become louder it allows the judges of spirit to be more obvious than ever before. Passive, active and aggressive short range. Archangel Chamuel's radiant peace allows you to be secluded in a peaceful bubble, no matter what is happening around you. It also allows those in your heart space the same benefits. Active and passive. Bahu Mana's timeline destroyer is a great reality molder. It can help you actively destroy lower timelines that you do not wish to experience. For example, if a notion of tragedy enters your brain, use this sword to destroy that specific timeline so it cannot manifest. Passive and Aggressive Dinah, Goddess Artemis Barrage of Flaming Arrows will light up planet Earth with love. Summon her to a target or allow her to act in your best interests without your knowing, either way, this is a powerful tool. Active Kali Ma's trident can handle anything as it is completely omnipotent. Extremely effective onto life and on a boulder. It is an amazing weapon against electronics and technology, as it can override any circuitry. This is a great tool for any assignment. Active, aggressive and passive. Archangel Aureus Wand of Wills is a wand that can turn all negative energies into instruments of the divine will. It can make a demon dance the electric slide and a politician humble, use it wisely. This tool is not available very often, so yield accordingly. Assignments 1. We have been trying to encourage humanity to look for peaceful solutions that involve the benefits of all sides. That being said, the desire for liberation has superseded the desire for peace. Certain countries will have a level of this manifesting very rapidly, but we must continue to promote as much peace as possible. Along with the metaphysical work below, be sure to encourage anyone who is going to protest to be careful with their emotions while attending. We are trying to avoid many things, so we feel it is best to hold humanity's hand on this one. We must always keep in mind that a select few are the issue and not the masses. Engulf the earth and its inhabitants with a bright pink light for a 72 count and then follow it with an emerald green one for the same count. This will also help thwart the secondary virus that is in the works in the lab. 2. There is a gigantic stream of light coming in from the will of infinitely expanding creator source. This energy will blanket us with upgrades but we can also use this energy to direct the flow of electrical currents that are currently stuck. 
encourage the bright white energy to flow through the pyramid of Giza, to Chichen Itza, to Gobekli Tepe, to the sacred lands of the Four Corners, to the Siberian temple known as Paw Bajin, to the Ganges River, to the Nile, and finally to the Atlantean temple at the former North Pole. You must first locate the incoming energy in order to do this properly and then flow with it to the connection points in any way shape or form you wish. I can suggest using lightning, but light and plasma work great as well, as does a manual link. 3. Earth has many settings and because of the incoming energies, she is attempting to go into a more receptive mode. The places that are causing rifts are Mount Shasta, Mount Edna, and the Dead Sea. All of which are clogged with incoming and outgoing energies and must be cleansed in order for her to receive the aforementioned upgrades properly and without incident. The violet flame is the easiest solution, but I do encourage you to go in manually as well. Today's meditation is a guided meditation titled, The Light Absorption. It is more of an upgrade or a download depending on how you look at it, please enjoy either way.